Good morning. My name is Bill and I'm an alcoholic. And today's show is called Mary Torrens Lathrop. Born in 1838, Mary was an altogether unsung hero of the temperance movement of its time. Of a woman's determination to bring about some change in her lifetime. She instigated and ran the Women's Christian Temperance Union, whose sole purpose was to remove a temptation to drink through one person helping another. And if that sounds familiar to you, you may have some connection with the 12-step recovery programme. They adopted the white ribbon as their badge. Mary was a licensed preacher. She, she was a suffragist. And she was also a poet. She wrote a poem all those years ago that still resonates to this day. And I think we've all heard the saying, to walk a mile in your shoes. And she wrote a poem entitled, To Walk a Mile in His Moccasins. And it's well worth a read. Don't be too harsh with the man that sins, it says as long as you are sure you have no sins of your own. These are few of the words of that inspirational read from all those years ago. And really, that's the tenets contained within the 12-step recovery programme of Alcoholics Anonymous. Where no one is sober today through being upright and perfect, no one is sober today through, through not making so many mistakes, both before recovery and in recovery. Where the very basis of my recovery today is to look within myself, without pointing the finger at those around me. We te call it taking personal inventory. Prohibition had been in the United States for 13 years up until 1933. And Mary picked up the mantle of the dangers of drinking and did what she could to help. Today, in recovery, I'm in effect walking in the moccasins of those that tasted sobriety, tasted recovery before me. Where the mistakes and failures of the first 100 people in Alcoholics Anonymous have been studied, they've been looked at, they've been rectified and we've ended up learning from them. Where relapse and why not sticking around are the lessons we heed today with the knowledge that many, many people died to teach us how to live. Recovery the spiritual journey that is contained within the steps is not an exact science. We've had to learn right from wrong, good from bad, and we've learnt from those that have drunk of what not to do, and we've learnt from those that have stayed sober of what to do. Knowledge is power to the sober alcoholic. The knowledge of what to do, when to do it and what not to do. The knowledge of past mistakes and of long-term sobrieties are lessons I have to live with today and I live by today. For it's learning and understanding why people drank and what not to do is just as important as learning about what to do and how to stay sober from those people who have got long-term sobriety. So when I'm asked to help another alcoholic, it's very simple. I just try and apply the same teachings that were written in that poem of 1860. A wonderful poem that's got lots of good in it. 
and just for a minute maybe I'll read that poem out to you. And originally when it was written it was called Judge Softly, but today we know it as To Walk a Mile in His Moccasins, and it went something like this. Pray don't find fault with the man that limps or stumbles along the road unless you have worn the moccasins he wears or stumbled beneath the same load. For there may be tears in his souls that hurt, though hidden away from view, the burden he bears placed on your back may cause you to stumble and fall too. Don't sneer at the man who is down today unless you have felt the same blow that caused his fall or felt the shame that only the fallen know. You may be strong, but still the blows that were his unknown to you in the same way may cause you to stagger and fall too. Don't be too harsh with the man that sins or pelt him with words or stone or disdain unless you are sure you have no sins of your own and it's only wisdom and love that your heart contains. For you know if the temper's voice should whisper as soft to you as it did to him when he went astray it may cause you to falter too. Just walk a mile in his moccasins before you abuse, criticise and accuse. If just for one hour you could find a way to see through his eyes instead of your own muse. I believe you'd be surprised to see that you've been blind and narrow-minded, even unkind. There are people on reservations and in ghettos who have so little hope and too much worry on their minds. Brother, there but for the grace of God go you and I. Just for a moment slip into his mind and traditions and see the world through his spirit and eyes before you cast a stone or fa falsely judge his conditions. And remember to walk a mile in his moccasins and remember the lessons of humanity taught to you by your elders. We will be known forever by the tracks we leave in other people's lives, our kindliness and generosity. Take the time to walk a mile in his mo moccasins and that was the Mary by Mary the poem by Mary T Lathrop who died in 1895 build the shirt Bristol